Now that we've talked about the really important things that you need to consider, let's go through the different parts of the day where you might want to add music. It's really easy for some reason. People forget about the music and it's really important. And guys, if you're new here, then welcome. I'm Lauren, wedding planner, owner of Boo Bear Creative and Bride Academy. And I provide a weekly dose of wedding planning goodness for the modern couple, as well as digital downloads. So let's hop into the video and talk about music, why it's important, and how you can go about it. Starting point would not be ceremony. Have a think about your guest arrival pre-ceremony. Are you having any drinks before the ceremony, perhaps an hour beforehand? What background music do you want to play at that point? So pre-ceremony drinks and guest arrival in general, you definitely want music playing. So if you are having pre-ceremony drinks in a slightly different location to the ceremony. This is typical because alcohol is not allowed into a civil ceremony space, just as an FYI. So you might want music playing while you're having the drinks. And then as your guests are coming into the ceremony, you're going to want music playing as they're coming through. Now, perhaps if you're having live music for your ceremony, that person that's playing the live music can play for the guest arrival. If you're having drinks prior to that, I suggest having some background music. Otherwise you can obviously have live music then as well, but if they're in different locations and it's potentially only 30 minutes, I would put your budget into having the live music in the ceremony and whilst the guests are arriving, background music for the pre-drinks if that's something that you're doing. If you are just doing background music for your ceremony, then make sure you have a playlist for the guest arrival as the guests are taking their seats, typically 30 minutes. Then you want to obviously consider what you're walking down the aisle to. Three songs for the signing of the register and then what you're walking back down the aisle to and then a little bit of a guest exit playlist as well up to 15 minutes. It won't take that long, but just ensure it's that length. Next part of the day is the drinks reception and you absolutely need music at this point in the day. It will be a totally flat vibe if you don't have it. Typically couples will go for live music at this point, but again, you do you guys. Again, if we look back at my wedding, I had a playlist playing for part of it and I had a live musician. We had a singer and guitarist, as in she was a singer and guitarist, it was just one person and she played for an hour and then the final 30 minutes we just had a black background playlist on and it was perfect it's exactly what we wanted i selected her specifically i followed her on i think it was facebook at the time and she was an up and coming musician and i was so excited that she was available to do our wedding so have a think about what type of music you want what kind of vibe you want do you want a saxophonist do you want it to kind of be like a bit chilled? Do you want sort of Ibiza vibes? Do you want a guitarist, acoustic guitarist? Do you want a harpist? Do you want a string quartet? So many different options. It's completely up to you and what vibe you're going for. But I highly recommend live music at this point. If it's not in budget, playlist is absolutely okay. You just need to consider PA kit. And this is where people go wrong guys so take note get that pencil out now if you are having a drinks reception outside and you are doing a background playlist do they have speakers do they have a pa kit so often i get to a site visit with a client when we're coordinating and i ask them what music they've got for the drinks reception and they'll say a background playlist or spotify playlist there's no outdoor, outdoor speakers and they haven't considered how they're playing it. So that's really important. Speak to your venue. If not, you need to hire in a PA kit. Very, very important. Or there will be no music, my friends. So don't forget that bit. Next point of the day is wedding breakfast. And typically people go for background music, but I'm definitely seeing a trend where clients are booking live musicians during the wedding breakfast. Now, obviously you have the likes of singing waiters, which I'll be perfectly honest with, I'm not overly into, um, sharing an honest opinion there, but I have also worked with some incredible musicians and singers for wedding breakfast. We've worked with the likes of Okium, who is a composer and pianist, and he played throughout one of our clients' wedding breakfast, and it was absolutely delightful. It was it was wonderful. We've also worked with Lula Weddings, who is a singer. And I'll be honest, all the guests were up and dancing in between all the courses. It was super, super fun and a really high vibe, which if that's for you, then highly recommend. But obviously you need to speak to your caterers and make sure that they're aware 
that that's happening because it can throw service a little bit but super fun so it totally depends on the vibe that you're after do you want the wedding breakfast to kind of be the start of the party in which case i would say look at having some live music if you are not quite so interested in that being the start of the party and you just want it to be in the background then have a playlist and put your budget into the evening music next part of the day is the cocktail hour you may or may not have a cocktail hour and i say cocktail hour loosely because it's not necessarily for cocktails it's just that point in the day between the wedding breakfast and between the evening reception so if for example you need to turn your spaces around if the wedding breakfast is in one room and that's the same time the same space that's being used for the evening reception then you need a turnaround. You'll need to go to another space before you come back in for the evening reception whilst the band's set up and they clear the tables. So we then call that the cocktail hour, at which point you may just want to opt for background music. You may want to start to build the party vibe at that point and have a live saxophonist, for example. It's totally up to you. Whatever it is that you're doing or however you're working that perhaps hour to an hour and a half, can again consider the vibe you may not require that your venue may flow really nicely and you might find that you can literally go from the wedding breakfast and everyone goes through to first dance also depends on the timings of your day but definitely don't forget that part of the day and again consider all the things we've talked about such as is there pa kit are the speakers available do you want a spotify playlist do you want live music and so on don't forget sound limits and then finally we've got the evening reception where you're likely going to have a band or a dj and you're going to include your first dance and any additional special dances or moments that you want to include now this is totally up to you you can either go band that can go from three four eight people or you can have a dj or you can have a mix if you're having a band make sure you ask if there is anybody that's going to put on a playlist in between their sets how long are their sets and if they finish a bit earlier do you need a DJ to tag on at the end or will they play? Those sorts of things. So just really consider that and make sure you're asking the right questions. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it's given you some ideas. I hope it's filled in some potential information gaps. I hope it's highlighted some things that you need to make sure that you're asking. That is the most important thing. As always, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure to bring you these tips and tricks. If you're not already signed up to our mailing list, then please do so for more tips. And don't forget, you can grab our free wedding planning checklist, which is linked below. Have an amazing week, guys, and I will be back next week with some more wedding planning goodness.